Hello there, you amazing viewers and subscribers, and welcome to a brand new Doctor Who epic video for today. So in this video, it is my five favourite Doctor Who lines out of everything. I, as a big Doctor Who fan, everybody has their favourite lines from each incarnation of the Doctor or one of the villains. Now, I'm going to talk about my five favourite Doctor Who lines. Now, these are lines I think are absolutely fantastic in the show and why I want to talk about why I absolutely loved these lines. I have to say, I absolutely love everything about Doctor Who. It's just a fantastic Doctor Who show. I just love anything about Doctor Who. I mean, my favourite era is classic Doctor Who, as everybody knows, including another sci-fi guy. My favourite Doctor, I am a massive tom baker fan i mean i've got a cardboard cutout let's see if i can there we are i've got a cardboard cutout of my favorite doctor right behind me i just love everything of the fourth doctor so i want to talk about my five favorite doctor who lines out of the show's history and to actually do this i'm I, i'm thrilled to actually sit here and talk about my five favorite doctor who lines so in fifth place my fifth favorite line comes from the sixth doctor in Trial of a Time Lord, where he's literally on the stand. Now, Trial of a Time Lord is actually the nickname for the Doctor Who season, because it's basically season 23 for Doctor Who, and it is called Trial of a Time Lord. And I love his speech in episode 14, where he's there telling the Time Lords off about basically changing the course of Revelox, renaming Earth Revelox. And he goes, in all my travels in the universe, my battles against evil, against power mad conspirators, I should have stayed here. The oldest series agent, rotterate, degenerate, and rotten to the core. Daleks, Santarans, Cybermen. They stand the nursery compared to us. Ten million years of absolute power. That's what it takes to be really corrupt. I just love listening to that speech. I mean, it's on some Doctor Who sound uh, remixes for Dominic Glenn's Trial of the Time theme, and... I keep re-watching that scene on YouTube, the court scene with the Doctor, just saying that line. I just absolutely loved it. And the best thing is, I want to get my cosplay of the Sixth Doctor pretty soon. It's £200 off eBay. So I will be buying that pretty soon. And then I'll be doing an actual proper videos on TikTok with me wearing Colin Baker's outfit. Just doing that line in Colin Baker's outfit. Because I really love that line. And I just really think it's a great line for call it the Sixth Doctor. And I really do love that line. I absolutely love it. Now, my fourth favourite line comes from the Cybermen from the story known as Earthshock, which is my favourite Cyberman story. I have to say, I absolutely love it. So, the scene I'm going to talk about is literally at, in episode two of Earthshock, where they're literally in the caves and they're literally looking for the android scanners. And then they goes, wait a minute. I know that object. And I love the fact when he, they're talk, talking about and he goes, A TARDIS, a Time Lord, for they are forbidden to interfere. And this this one calls himself the Doctor. And does nothing else but interfere. And I love the fact we have Hartnell's lines where he goes, Emotion, love, pride, hate, fear. Do you have no emotion, my dear sir? And then, of course, we cut to the second Doctor where he's there going, I imagine I had orders to destroy me from the wheel in space, which is a missing story. And then we have Tom Baker's speech from when he's literally in Captain Summon in Revenge of He goes, you've got no home planet, you're blooming snockings. You're just a bunch of pathetic teen soldiers looking at a galaxy and ancient spaceship. So we kind of got those like three clips from the first, second and third, do uh, fourth Doctors. And I love the fact that he goes, it appears he was regenerated again. Whoever he is, he must be found and destroyed. Doo -doo -doo. I just absolutely love uh, Shock. It's a fantastic Solomon story. And I love that line when they literally recognise the Doctor's there and they're like, I know that object. I really love the Cyber Leader, David Banks. He's just absolutely fantastic as the Cyber Leader. My third favourite Doctor Who line comes from the final episode of Doctor Who, which is Survival Episode 3. I just really love this line because it is Sylvester McCoy's last line. And when I met him back in... April and I said this whole line to him and it was like really, really fast he goes I never I had one day to learn that line and I've had years to learn that line years and I just absolutely love it when he goes there's worlds out there where the sky is burning where the seas are sleep and the rivers dream people murder smoke and cities made a song some of this danger 
Summer's in justice. And summer has the tea's getting cold. Come on, Ace. we got work to do. I just love that line for Survival Episode 3. And it's the last ever line for the, a Doctor to say during the classic Doctor Who. And I just think it's absolutely fantastic because it means there is more adventures coming, not on TV universe, but back then we had the new adventures books coming out. We had the Target novel books of the past adventures of the Doctors. So we did have more Doctor Who stuff, and especially in 1999 with the beginning of Big Finish, which I love listening to. I'm literally becoming more of a Big Finish fan every day. And I just absolutely love that line. So Sir McCoy delivers it really, really good. My second favourite Doctor Who line is from William Harnell, and this one is from the Dalek Invasion of Earth. I just really love this line. I have to say, I, I'm sorry to say it, I just absolutely love it. It's where he says goodbye to Susan in episode six, and he's doubled up the doors so Susan can't get in, and you kind of have that line, and it was actually used for the Five Doctors as well. So technically you can say it's from the Dalek Invasion of Earth slash Five Doctors, where he's there going, one day I shall come back. Yes, I shall come back. Until then, there must be no regrets, no tears, no anxieties. Just go forward in all your beliefs. And prove to me that I'm not mistaken in mine. I just really love that line from William Hartnell's Doctor. And it's one of those lines where I'm literally, I can go around saying it every single day. And to be honest, I do say it every day. I just love that line completely. I just really, really do love it. And it's just a fantastic line, especially from the first Doctor. And I have to say, I just absolutely love that line. And now, this number one is from Modern Doctor Who. Now, this is my favourite line out of Modern Doctor Who, I have to say. This is the one I generally love quite a lot. And it's from the time of the Doctor. This is Matt Smith's speech when he's about to regenerate into Peter Capaldi. And I love how it literally starts off saying, we all change all for our lives. And that's okay. That's good. You've got to keep going as long as you remember all the people that you used to be. And I will not forget one line of this. Not one day, I swear. I will always remember when the Doctor was me. I just genuinely love that line of Matt Smith. And then, of course, he takes his bow tie off and goes off to a joint into Peter Capaldi. I just really love that line from Matt Smith. It's just an absolutely fantastic line. So this video is my five favourite Doctor Who lines. What are your five favourite Doctor Who lines? Let me know in the comments. Please do like, subscribe and share and let... And just let me know in the comments what are your favourite Doctor Who lines and what's the ones you say nearly all the time. Thank you for watching and have a great day.